sometimes even the most exquisite jewelry that you hold need to be polished for it to reveal its real beauty. And this is what has happened to a 19th century hidden jewel of Mumbai, the David Sassoon Library and Reading Hall. After nearly 16 months and a budget of over 3.5 crore, the library has started a new chapter, a chapter that brings back its glorious past. So let us talk about this library, its history in this episode of Mumbai Matters. Hello and welcome. I am Purva Chitnis, Special Correspondent with The Print. This library was built between 1867 and 1870 and is proudly a Grade 1 UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is known for its Victorian style Gothic art decors. This library for long has provided a quiet space for students, researchers, civil aspirants and this library was recently renovated and restored. The entire renovation and restoration was carried out by India's leading architect Abha Narayan Lamba which was supported by JSW Foundation, ICICI Foundation, Consulate General of Israel, Tata Trust, Kala Koda Association. This restoration was completed just a few days back and it was open to visitors on 3rd June. However, there is still some work which is uh, remaining on the garden side of the library and that is why it will take another couple of weeks for it to open for its members. So whenever you enter the library, the first thing that you'll see is a life-size statue of David Sassoon. So who is this David Sassoon? Let's understand his history. David Sassoon was born in 1792 to a wealthy Jew family in Baghdad. But in 1830s, somewhere around 1830s, he along with his family flew the city and came to Mumbai, then Bombay, fearing persecution. After coming to Bombay, he indulged in various kind of trades and continued to generate wealth for his family. In 1853, he was also granted British citizenship uh, for his services to the empire. So in 1860s, for the first time when the walls of Fort George were demolished, the land was auctioned off and at that time, David Sassoon bought that land. He was a Jewish banker who was wealthy. He could afford to buy that piece of land. Then at that spot, he built an institute called Sassoon's Mechanics Institute. The cost of the entire building was at that point 1.25 lakh out of which 60,000 rupees were generously donated by David Sassoon. Earlier, it was built as Sassoon Mechanics Institute. It was also one of the oldest educational institutes in the city of Bombay at that point of time. And it had architectural designs, mechanical and engineering materials. It was like a museum and library for the students to come and study there. Later on, in late 1930s, Sassoon Mechanics Institute was renamed as David Sassoon's Library and Reading Hall to commemorate him and to honor David Sassoon's. But over the many years of its existence, the library had to battle termites, leaky roofs, leaky walls, that many things which destroyed thousands and thousands of books. The management of the library says that time and again they used to take these repairs but finally just before COVID they decided that instead of going for a temporary fix, they will go for an entire restoration. But then the pandemic hit and finally sometime around 16 months back, uh, the entire restoration work started. During this restoration work, uh, the team found out an old photograph of say uh, 1960s which showed that the roof was in fact changed to a flat ceiling. And that is why the team also decided that they will go for an entire structural change and restore the library to its original beauty. So now when you visit the library, you will see that the old charm is back. The chandeliers, old switches, chairs which have long arms, long tables, then banker style, or lamps, then floor to ceiling, bookshelves. All that gives a picture of a grand library is what is restored in David Sassoon's library. In fact, uh, earlier the management also says that there were 70,000 books. But as we said that because of all the termites and decays and low maintenance over the years, many, many thousands of books were destroyed. And now currently there are 30,000 books, periodicals, magazines, old stamps. Uh, and these books are in fact in four languages, English, Marathi, Hindi and Gujarati. The library is completely redone to evoke nostalgia. However, it is not stuck in time. So if you visit the library and if you want to use your smartphones or work on your laptop or use your digital books, the library is Wi-Fi enabled. So next time when you are in Kalagoda, South Mumbai, make sure you do visit this 
oldest library in Mumbai and take back a piece of history with you. That's all we have for you in this episode of Mumbai Matters. For more such episodes, keep tuning in to The Print. This is me, Purva Chitnis, signing off. 